Let's throw it up there and see what sticks. A play on words. He finishes by saying, vote your conscience. The instructions say, look at the facts, look at the evidence. You can't have it both ways, Mr. Box. You can't. You are not here sentencing a child. Oh, he's a child. He was acting like a child. He was acting immature. He's not a child. <clears throat> Use Juan David Ortiz. The state did not seek death on Juan David Ortiz. Mr. Ortiz did not kill his son. And in Ortiz's case, the defense brought mitigation. Accountability. This case is about accountability. We have given you all the evidence so that you can vote in good conscience to answer question one. Yes. And to answer question two. No. It's interesting to sit there and listen to the arguments by, by Mr. Boggs. He makes a big point about the mother. One of the other themes is the scripts. The scripts throughout this trial, right? The mother loves Ronald. I submit she came here to court to show her support for Ronald. But what happens when he sees her? What are you doing here? The one that's important is me, not you. You heard the phone call? He ran her off. It didn't go. In deliberating on special issue number two, you shall consider all the evidence presented at guilt and innocence stage of trial and the punishment stage of trial, including, but not limited to, evidence of the defendant's character. You can consider the defendant's character, his background, and the personal moral culpability of the defendant. It's not the fact that he was texting that was disturbing. It was showing the depraved heart that he had, the callousness that he had in doing it before and after he just killed his son, when he still had the blood on his hands, while he waited there taking crotch picks waiting them to, for them to walk into their trap. Ladies and gentlemen, this didn't happen in a bubble. He uses the word suddenly. This suddenly happened. No, it didn't. They need a reality check. I submit that it started, this planning to kill baby Dominic started when he found out that she wanted child support. That went almost two months that this plan was in play. Well, it was a testosterone, okay? 
He's been in Webb County Jail for almost five years. There's no testosterone there that that we know of. There's no Fetterman being injected, but yet he still has the anger issues. Okay. It's hard to get in the mind of a killer, but it's not hard to identify evil. It's not hard to identify evil. The acts committed by that man who's sitting there were evil. And what are the characteristics that you can consider? Rogue. He wants to define penitentiary? Let me define rogue. A dishonest or unprincipled person. An elephant or large, other large, wild animal driven away, living apart from the herd and having savage or destructive tendencies. Rogue. It's fitting that the defense puts that picture in their opening statement. He was a rogue officer. And he doesn't define who the Border Patrol are. He's not a Border Patrol agent today. He's a danger within the family, within law enforcement, and within the society that he's going to. Because if you're a threat and you get in his way, you know what his character says that he can do. If he can do it to an innocent baby, imagine a stranger. Actions speak louder than words. That's how you can tell his predictability. Initiating at 825 in the morning, before he's committing the murder, contact with Z. Begin sexting with Z at 840. Sending this picture barely an hour before the murders. His character. I won't even repeat what he says, but you can read it right there at 9.08 a.m., less than 45 minutes before his baby and the young mother walk in to his trap. Mr. Block says that he's burdened, that he's gonna pass this burden on to you. Not passing a burden on to you. You're doing your job. What about the burden that the Hernandezes carry every single day? And the burden that they're gonna have for the rest of their lives? What about their burden? They didn't deserve to be butchered the way they were. And if he could have gotten away with it, he would have, and he almost did. And thank God for her sister's protection and her friend that they were able to find him. Otherwise, he would have gotten away with it. Make no mistake. Dame. After the murder. That's what he says. 19 minutes before he's detained. His character. You could consider that. The sinner and the sin. You can't have it both ways. We've always relied on the facts. We've always relied Ten on minutes. the evidence. What was that, Your Honor? Ten minutes. Thank you. Right, but how are you
yo estoy lo más feliz y tranquilita allí con Guillermina, con tu padre. No me importa tú, a mí lo que me importa soy yo, ¿me entiendes? Piensa, por favor, usa tu cabeza por un momento. And I always tell like, my like I can hear everything you're here. Just like everybody else. It frustrates me because when I was in, in, the, in the room and they were doing the clustering, I could hear them reading out messages of eggplant emojis that you were saying it was in March of 2018. Like you just made me so mad at me. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. Too bad you betrayed me. That's your problem. You're not just trusting other people, that's your problem. You should trust people before, so I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, I'm trusting people now. Well, maybe you should play about that. Maybe you should play and, and ask for that answer. I'm not going to ask your problem. Thank you. That's so very sweet of you, just like always. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm fucked up. I'm over here, and I don't know what the fuck I get to you or what, but I just ask you, I don't want to fuck you when you come out with your fucking answer, you know? I'm really fucked up. Yeah, that's your problem. The blame game. That's what he's about. You want to know character? Listen to his phone calls. Aberrant behavior. No, ladies and gentlemen. It's in his heart. It's who he is. You want to judge somebody? Look into their heart. Don't look at their face. Look at what's in evidence. States Exhibit 584, I'll read it to you. They told me no, I'm staying on the radio for trial since the judge thinks in, compar in comparison with the other one, or T's, he puts, mine is not as bad. He also said that the pretrial publicity is not as bad. The judge that saw my bond hearing two weeks after I got arrested, he denied my bail, but he gave Ortiz bail, even though he confessed to killing four people and ran away from the cops. I didn't confess because I didn't do shit and I didn't run. That's who you have there. That's in evidence. Hold on, ah, it's Nay. She said she's gonna talk to you in the AM and then come here in the afternoon. That other girl messaged me that she's gonna go visit you tomorrow early, then come here in the afternoon. Take advantage if there's anything you wanna tell me that you can't through here. Manipulating, using his resources to break the rules. Remember this letter? They're going to fall from the sky into the ocean, and when they are there, they're going to sink into the deep Pacific Ocean. Just give you a little glimpse into the way he thinks of people that are threats, of putting them in a box and dropping them to the deep blue sea. These are the things that go in in somebody's evil mind. <laughs> Wanted Griselda to get an abortion. He wanted Dominic dead then. On March 25th, injecting him. He wanted him dead on that day. And finally successful on April the 9th of 2018. The lies on and on and on. Remember. All of that evidence, you can consider it in answering special issue questions number one and number two. I don't know whose car it is. 
Oh, it rings a bell. It's hard to explain the situation for the fucking jury, he says. It looks like she took a beating last night or whatever. It's a fucking major coincidence, he says. Hey, well, you know what? Give us your phone. I'm not giving you fucking shit. That's what he said. And you're going to apologize to me for accusing me of this. Remember he tells Reyes and he's on though? You guys are going to owe me an apology when all this is over. Calculating, manipulative, deceptive. And they want you to send him to be a G3 inmate with all the rights, privileges, accommodations that they have. <coughs> we don't need more than the crime. The crime itself and his characteristics, the evidence, the facts, is all you need to answer question one with a yes and question two with a no. heart you know the answer wrap it up yes sir <laughs> after the meeting at the park I got three more slides your honor <laughs> man once said evil is powerless if the good are unafraid evil is powerless if the good are unafraid and yes that takes courage and when you get in there I'll ask you on special issue number one where the probability that Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles would commit criminal acts of violence and constitute a continuing threat to society, answer yes and sign it. 
And on special issue number two, whether taking into consideration all the evidence and circumstances, his character, background, the personal moral culpability of the defendant, there is sufficient mitigating circumstances or circumstances to warrant a sentence of life in prison without parole rather than death sentence be imposed. Write in no and sign it. On both counts, yes to special issue number one and no to special issue number two. 